practice on vacation. Take your machine with you. Am I crazy? Well, before we find out, please click on the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of further videos on the notification bell. I always practice on vacation. And uh, you might think, oh, it's such a hassle taking your machine with you. So in this video, I wanna show you what I do, the different ways I am able to practice on vacation. Now, of course, the easiest way is lap steno, air steno, uh, not quite as effective or as fun. So I always take a machine with me on vacation. And I have different ways of doing it. Now, this bag is one of the bags I use. It's like a carry-on bag. I also use this in my daily work. I take my backup machine with me on top of my rolly case. This is where I have my backup machine and some real-time equipment too. So I, you can put it in a bag like this, definitely. What I usually do is take a machine and put it in um, this bag first, like that. And then I stick it in the other bag. Um, another way I've done traveling with my regular machine is just with a backpack. So I have this simple backpack. Um, I'll put, I'll usually uh, put a piece of cardboard so the keys don't get smashed down and I will stick it in the backpack. And just making sure that when I put it under the seat on an airplane, for example, that it goes the bottom down, not the top part with the screen down. So I can also fit a tripod in here, or what I usually do is pack my tripod in my uh, checked baggage. Or um, there's been times when I don't even take a tripod at all. I just take the machine. Um, another bag I use, is this little uh, rolly bag. It also fits under most airplane seats, but I can put this and um, all my other carry-on stuff with me. So say you maybe really, really don't want to take your machine. I love taking my machine. I have more than one machine and I, I just feel, well, I want to practice on what it feels like for real. But if you don't want to, you can always do this uh, practice board, which you can get at championsteno.com. They're really good. You can put pads on it to give it more of a, kind of a little bit of a spongy feel. Um, another thing I've done is I bought a really old machine off of eBay. I took it apart and I made, um, took the keys and put this sponge here and this piece of little piece of uh, wood. And then it kind of gives me that feel. And uh, this one and the Champion Steno board, of course, they no, no harm or no chance of them getting damaged. Um, when you are going through the airport, you just have to make sure you take your machine out and put it in one of the bins because they don't know what it is when they're looking at it through the x-ray or so. You got to make sure you put it through one of the bins. Uh, if you think that's an extra hassle, just depends how your mindset is. Are you thinking, oh, it's a hassle and I've got to do the people who are behind me? No, then it's a hassle. If you just say, it's gonna take me an extra 32 seconds to do this, then it's not such a big hassle. Uh, I, when I take my equipment for work, I have two machines, two laptops, a bunch of tablets, all the paraphernalia. And so I just tell people, oh, go ahead and go by as I'm filling up probably about eight bins of all this stuff. I says, just go ahead and go on by. And uh, then it's, it does, there's no stress because in my mind, I'm just calm and letting people go by me or I'm just taking my time to put things out uh, carefully. But that's when I'm traveling for business. For work, I just take, I mean, for practice, I just take the machine, one machine, a tripod, uh, if I have my laptop or my little backup uh, laptop, if I wanna hook up to it, then I take the tripod and the uh, cable. Uh, but sometimes I just take the machine and that's it. Sometimes I don't even turn the machine on. I practice with it turned off. But I just like the feel of the real machine. Um, you're on vacation, you think you don't wanna 
you know, keep your writing speed up, well, even just five, 10, 15 minutes a day, you could get up that little bit earlier than everybody else. You can um, uh, go to bed a little bit later than everybody else. It's always doable. And then you don't lose your speed if you go on a longer vacation. And on the weekend vacation, maybe you're getting ready for a test or, or you have a real-time job on Monday. Uh, why lose those days of keeping in shape? Mm -hmm. All right, well, if you like this video, please click on like and share it, and I will see you in the next one.